to our channel. In this session, we will discuss an example of derivation tree. We already discussed the concept of derivation tree. Again, I will repeat the same thing. What do you mean by derivation? A process of generating the strings. Simply, the process of generating the strings from the given productions that means i am given a grammar to you based on the grammar we are generating some strings that is called derivation that is called derivation if the string derivation is represented in a tree structure is called derivation tree or also called as parse tree or also called as parse tree okay Now, these derivations are divided into two categories. First one is leftmost derivation. Second one is rightmost derivation. In simple terms, in both the ways, the concept is deriving a string. In leftmost derivation, we are deriving from left to right. That means, in the process of derivation, a production contains any number of non-terminals. In leftmost, first we are replacing the leftmost non-terminal. After completion of leftmost non-terminal, and then move to rightmost. Exactly rightmost derivation, the reverse. First we are replacing the rightmost non-terminal, and then move from right to left. That is the main difference between leftmost and rightmost. Now one more thing is, the concept of derivation tree. How a tree is represented? In simple term, the start symbol of the production, each production contains start symbol. The start symbol of the production act as the root node. Act as the root node in the derivation tree. Other than start symbol, what are the remaining things? Non-terminals. The non-terminal acts as the internal nodes. Internal nodes and terminals acts as leaf nodes. This is the procedure. So, the production is converted into tree format by following this rule. Now, we will consider one example and derive a string by using both leftmost derivation, rightmost derivation and then construct both leftmost derivation tree and then rightmost derivation tree. Suppose, S tends to L, A, L tends to L, S, S. Assume this is the given grammar. You required a string a comma a. This is my required string. Now first to construct leftmost derivation. So always the derivation starts from the starting symbol. So yes tends to. Here it contains more than one a. From yes we have two productions. Which production you have to consider? Based on the string, we have to consider the corresponding production. S tends to L. Why? The string contains brackets. That is the reason. This is the only option. Now, L is replaced with which one? If you are replacing with simple A, whenever a terminal occurs, there is no derivation. The stops. But here you require two A separated with commas. So, that is the reason. L is replaced with this one. L comma S. Now, here L and S are the two non-terminals. If it is the leftmost derivation, remember, first you have to replace this L only. So, now L is replaced with which one? This one or this one? Suppose if you are replacing this one, one more comma occurs. But I doesn't need more than one comma. That is the reason L is replaced with S. Comma S. In the next step, this S. S is simply replaced with A and this S is same. In the next step, A comma A. Now, I got my string. I got my string. This is the leftmost derivation. Suppose here, parallelly I am writing the rightmost derivation also. See this one, S tends to L. Now, L is replaced with L comma S. Here we have the difference. In leftmost, I am replacing the left to side non-terminal. In rightmost, I am replacing the right side non-terminal. So, L, comma, S is replaced with A. Now, 
this L is replaced with S. Now, A comma A. This is the rightmost derivation. We are how to our aim is to get the string. Whether you follow leftmost or rightmost, that is completely your wish. Now, what is our final aim? Once you know the derivations, you have to construct the parse trees or derivation trees. Suppose first I will construct the derivation tree for the leftmost derivation, starting from S. That is the start symbol acts as the root node, and S generates this one. Terminal acts as the leaf node. Non-terminal acts as the internal node. What do you mean by internal node? Internal node in the sense a node that contains some children. So L and then right parenthesis. Now L is replaced with this L comma S. So L comma S. Now first this L is replaced with S. Yes. S is replaced with A. This process is completed. After completion of this one, move to any other non-terminals. Yes, I have one more S is present. This S is replaced with A. Now, observe. So, left to parenthesis, A, comma, A, comma, right parenthesis. Actually, this is called yield. What is the yield of a tree? Simply the string that is generated by scanning from left to right. By scanning from left to right. This is called yield of the tree. And this is the leftmost derivation tree. Now I will construct the rightmost derivation tree also. In the same fashion for this. Starting from S. Yes, like this. L is replaced with L, comma, S. Yes. In the next step, we are replacing A. I am replacing A. Now, L is replaced with S. S is replaced with A. So, even though we are getting the same derivation tree, but the order of scanning, that is from left to right or right to left, is changed. This is the concept of derivation tree. Thank you.